Kaha Law, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, the Bahana said ahead apostles of Yashavala, which are the apostles at Great Millstone. Salute, honors, and blessings to the man that's pushing the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, in all sincerity and all truth. To the men, women, and children that stand in the spirit to the best of their ability. To the house of David, which is the elect that Yahweh Shai is coming back to redeem. Right? Uh, this lesson is going to be entitled Yahweh Shai, Paul, and the Old Testament. Right? Uh, basically, I just wanted to get into, you know, how Yahweh Shai and Paul both spoke of and taught of the, the Old Testament. You know, including, you know, Moses and the prophets, you know, because a lot of people, they try to dis, dis, uh, you know, disannul the Old Testament, saying that we don't go by the Old Testament anymore once Yahweh Shai came on the scene, okay? And, you know, a lot, a lot of people try to say that Paul, you know, didn't, you know, teach or deal with the Old Testament, okay? So they don't try, they, they try to separate the Old Testament from the New Testament, Okay, they trying to say that it's not, you know, we don't need the Old Testament anymore. Okay, and, and they also try to say that, you know, a Yahweh Shai isn't the Messiah because he wasn't talked about in the Old Testament. All right, so, you know, hopefully, you know, this is edifying to the elect, you know, the younger brothers out there. And we're just going to get a couple of precepts on basically on how Yahweh Shai and, and Paul both spoke of the Old Testament and taught from the Old Testament. Which lets us know that the Old Testament is still in effect, you know, to this very day. Okay, the Old Testament and the New Testament are the same, are the same, you know, are the same in one. Okay, they both was inspired by the by the by the Holy Spirit, all right? By by Yahweh through the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna start off with this verse right here. This is uh John chapter one, verse 45. It says, Philip findeth Nathaniel. And saith unto him, We have found of we have found him who uh, of whom Moses and in the law and the prophets did write, Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Alright, see the the men, you know, back then during the time of Yahweh Shai, they knew of that a Messiah was going to come, okay? And they knew that the Messiah was spoken about in the Old Testament. Alright? They knew that the, the Lord, okay, Yahweh, had promised the nation of Israel a savior, all right? So, all throughout, you know, uh, uh, during this time, they looked for, uh, um, they looked for to see who that Messiah was going to be, who that savior was going to be. That's why, you know, if you read in the book of uh, John, the first chapter, I believe, um, they said, basically, should we look for, oh, it is up here, um, See if I can find it real quick. Um, Salakia. I can't find it right now, but basically, you know, the scripture basically said, um, should we should we follow you or should we look for another? You know, that's what the apostles, the uh the disciples that were following um, John the Baptist when they seen how shy, they asked him, you know, they said, you know, should we look, should we go follow you or should we look for another? Because they knew that there was the Messiah was coming, okay? So the Messiah was promised. So right here, he said, This is um, Philip saying to Nathaniel that look, we've we have found him who Moses and the prophet spoke about, okay? And this is the man, yeah, I was shot. Alright. So, you know, get this next precept, you know. Like I said, this is gonna be a lot of precepts, you know, basically for brothers' studies, you know, younger brothers that, you know, might come across people who say that the Old Testament is done away with, or I might say that Yahweh Shai uh, wasn't spoken about in the, uh, in the Old Testament, so the New Testament is, all, is, is null and void, you know, these precepts right here let you know that in the New Testament was spoken about the Old Testament, which spoke about Yahweh Shai, alright, so this is a, um, Luke chapter 4 verse 16, okay, because once again, Yahweh Shai spoke and taught from the Old Testament, right? As people try to say that once Yahweh Shai came on the scene, that the Old Testament is done away with, the laws are done away with. But let's see what Yahweh Shai said here. It says, And he came to Nazareth, where he was, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. All right. So 
Yahweh Shai, he said his custom was to go into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. That's what the custom were for Israel, that you were supposed to go into, you know, the synagogue, whatever synagogue that's in your city or your town, and then you were supposed to read the, read the law, okay? You were supposed to read the law and the, and the prophets, all right? So that was the custom of Israel. So it says, um, and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, which is Isaiah, and he and when he had opened the book he found a place where it was written so now this is how was shy actually reading from the book of isaiah all right and he's he's about to you know read to the people all right a prophecy which he is about which was about him all right verse 18 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he have sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And, and when he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, he sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. See, right there, Yahweh Shai read from the Old Testament, the book of Isaiah, all right? And he said, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. Why? Because he is the man that Isaiah, through the Holy Spirit, was talking about. He is the man that Isaiah seen, okay, got the vision of when, you know, he wrote this, he wrote this down. That's why Yahweh Shai said, now I'm here, I'm about to come into, I'm, I have come in the flesh to fulfill this prophecy. That's what is meant when, when Yahweh Shai said in Matthew, uh, the fifth chapter, okay, the 17th verse, where he says what? That I didn't come to destroy uh, the laws or the prophets, but I came to fulfill. That's what he did, okay? When the laws and the prophets spoke of, he came and actually fulfilled it in their ears, just like how this example was right here, all right? So, you know, Yahweh Shai, and there's many other accounts where Yahweh Shai actually said, is it not written, okay? Okay, uh, or where it says, uh, Isaiah spake well of, of ye hypocrites, you know? He, he spoke, he spoke to the people concerning about what was already written in the Old Testament, okay? So, the New Testament, Yahweh Shai backs up you know what he says uh, uh yahweh shai you know backs up what he is saying by you know referencing the old testament all right so this is another you know precept this is uh mark chapter 10 verse 17 it says and when he has gone forth into the way there came one running and kneeling to him and asked him good master what shall i do that i may inherit eternal life so you know this man who came up to yahweh shai asked him, oh, what, what do i have to do to be you know to be into the kingdom, what I to do to be saved? So let's see what Yahweh Shai said unto him. Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest me good? There is none good but one, that is Yahweh. Okay? So he says, verse 19, Thou knowest the commandments. So he answered the question, all right, that this man had by once again referring back into the Old Testament, referring back to the laws of Moses, referring them back into what was already written, all right? Yahweh Shai didn't come and say something different. He didn't come and say, you know what? Don't 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 mind what the what the Old Testament said. Don't mind what the laws of Moses said. Just listen to what I'm about to say. No, he said, Thou knowest the commandments. This is how he answered. This is how you get eternal life. Do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and mother. So he basically gave them, you know, the rundown of, of the commandments, all right? So Yahweh Shai, not only did he come to fulfill the prophecies, he also taught the law. He also taught men to keep the law, all right? He didn't teach men to, that the law is un, uh, done away with because he said out of his own mouth, any man that breaketh the law and teaches men to do so shall be called, what? The least in the kingdom of heaven. And we know that Yahweh Shai would be the greatest of great in the kingdom of heaven, so which means he's going to do what? He's going to keep the law and he's going to teach men to keep the law, all right? That's why he told this man, if you want to inherit eternal life, you know the commandments, you know what to do, all right? But he had a, you know, and if you read further down, he expounded, you know, on even how to become even more, you know, uh, spiritually, you know, uh, 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 inclined, you know, righteous. You know, he told him to what? To sell everything that you have and follow me, okay? Which means take up your cross. He says, come and follow me, take up your cross. 
you know, uh, uh, bear this burden. You know, not don't be about the pleasures of pleasures of this world, but you know, you can read on that. That you know, that's another topic. I'm just gonna stay on topic. So I'm gonna go to this next scripture. This is uh, Luke chapter 24, verses verse. Uh, start at 25. Now this is after Yahweh Shai had risen. Okay, he was speaking to uh, he was speaking to two men that was basically talking about you know him, but they didn't know that it was him. Okay, so this is Luke chapter 24, verse 20, verse 25. Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart to believe, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. So see there, right there, he said, you guys don't understand what the prophets was, was speaking about. All right. It says, verse 26, ought not Hamashiach to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory, which was already uh, uh, spoken, which was already prophesied about, you know, uh, in the book of Isaiah and, 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 and in the laws. All right. But if you go to the book of Isaiah, I believe that, uh, the 50, I want to say 53rd chapter where it says, uh, who shall believe, who shall believe our report. Okay. So it was already spoken about that, the, that the Messiah, Hamash, Hamashiach was going to come on, on a scene and suffer, you know, this, this, this death. All right. Suffer. He put to death for the sins of Israel. All right. So verse 27 says, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. See? So he he didn't make up something else. He's he said, look, I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna start at Moses and then I'm gonna go to the uh, prophets and I'm gonna show you in the scriptures everything that they talked about concerning me. Okay. So Yahweh Shai is all throughout the Old Testament, all right. And when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, okay, in the New Testament, all he did was speak about the Old Testament and, and how he came to fulfill what was in the Old Testament. All right. So jumping down, you know, to verse uh, 44, okay, this is when he showed himself to his disciples. All right, he said, he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, all th that all things must be fulfilled. Once again, he didn't come to destroy, but he came to fulfill the prophecies which was written, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. That's what he did. All right. He said, all these things, I came and I fulfilled all these things that was written, okay, in, in, the, in the law of Moses, that was written by the prophets in, in, the, in the Psalms, the Psalms, okay, where David spoke concerning him. That's why he had to come, you know, on, on a donkey, all right, because it was written that he was going to come, you know, on a, on a coat of an ass, all right? He had to do all these things. That's why, you know, the, uh, the uh, men... Okay, the Saturians didn't break his limbs, all right, because it was written that they should not, you know, break none of his bones, okay? All these things were, were written of him. That's why he was born, you know, and in, in, uh, he, he came he came out of uh, out of uh, Egypt after he was born because it said that what? That, 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 the, um, that, that the Messiah was basically going to come from Egypt, okay? He wasn't born in Egypt, but his parents fled into Egypt. So all these things happened. All these events occurred in Yahweh Shah's life basically was to fulfill what was already written of him in the old testament okay so verse 45 it says then opened he their understanding that that they might understand the scriptures and that's the thing that the the disciples you know the prophets that are on the scene now have received because they received the back then that yahweh shy okay opened our understanding unto the scriptures that's why we understand that you know yahweh shy was written of in the old testament and that's why you know you have these old testament uh, Israelites that don't believe in Yahweh Shai because they were not of his sheep they didn't, uh, Yahweh Shai didn't open their understanding back then, okay and that's why you had a lot of people that didn't believe on Yahweh Shai back then because it wasn't given unto them to understand but what, right here, Yahweh Shai opened their understanding so that they can understand the scriptures that was already written okay, so that he came to fulfill, them, fulfill those scriptures okay, so get this next scripture, one more for, uh, for Yahweh Shai you know, sp basically speaking about the, the, the Old Testament. So this is uh, Matthew 22, verse 23. It says, the same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection and asked him. So now the Sadducees is a sect of, of, of one of the religious sects in Israel. OK, just to give the background that don't believe in, in the spirit. OK, they don't believe in, in basically that the spirit never dies. All right. They think once you're dead. They thought once you're dead, then that's it. All right. So saying, so verse 24 saying, master, Moses said, if a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. 
Now there was with us seven brethren in the first when he had married a wife deceased and having no issue left his wife unto his brother. Likewise the second also and the third unto the seventh and the last of all the women died also. Therefore in the resurrection of whose wife shall she be of the seven for they all had her. Now this, this is what Yahweh Shai said. Verse 29, Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures. See, these 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 Sadducees, these uh Pharisees, they didn't understand the scriptures. What scriptures? The Old Testament. So Yahweh Shai was saying, Look, you don't even you don't understand the old testament. You don't understand you know the scriptures. You know, today we call them the old testament, but back then they was just the, it was just the scriptures, you know. Even though we, we still, and we call the Old Testament and New Testament all together, we call them the scriptures. All right. So Yahweh Shah said, what? You don't understand, you, you do err not knowing the scriptures. So Yahweh Shah was basically telling them like, hey, look, if you understood what Moses and the prophets and, and everything concerning, you know, in the Old Testament, if you understood the, uh, the, uh, that, that, those breakdowns, then you wouldn't even be asking them this, these questions. Okay. So it says, and know the power of the most high. So. Now that was just the point right there that he once again made reference to the to the, the scriptures, which back then was just the Old Testament, because there was no New Testament, quote unquote New Testament, while Yahweh Shah was speaking right now. All this was written after after Yahweh Shah already was uh, uh, ascended back into the into the uh, into the spirit world. Okay, so you know those those five five precepts were just you know Yahweh Shah, you know uh, speaking about the Old Testament. So now we're going to go to Paul because a lot of people like to use Paul and say that, you know, we don't deal with the Old Testament. Paul didn't didn't teach the commandments. Uh, Paul didn't teach the Old Testament. Well, that's because, like how Yahweh Shai said, that they do err not knowing the scriptures. All right. So this is uh, Acts chapter 26, verse 22. It says, having therefore obtained help of the Most High, I, this is Paul speaking, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great saying none other than the things which than the things those which the prophets and moses did say should come see paul didn't say nothing else than what the prophets and the mo and, and, and moses did say man okay because like i said before it was all the same spirit moving in uh uh the disciples you know the apostles the same spirit that was in them was the same spirit that was in the the ancient prophets okay so they all, so they complemented each other, all right? And it's the same spirit that is in the brothers, you know, starting from the head apostles of, of Great Millstone on down, okay, the sincere brothers on down that are expounding and teaching right now. It's the same spirit. That's why we can, uh, what, so, so, that's why we have, you know, the capability of understanding the scriptures and understanding how the Old Testament and the New Testament correlates and how they both, you know, speak, how they both speak of Yahweh Shah. All right, it, it's not a mystery unto us. Why? Because how we read in Luke, Yahweh Shai opened up our understanding of the scriptures, and that's what happened with Paul. Okay, Paul he had his understanding open opened up, and he was able to now expound to to men, you know, to the Gentiles, to everybody, the none other than the things that were spoken of prophets of the of the prophets and Moses, which should come, which was about Yahweh Shai. All right, so get this next scripture. This is uh, Acts 13 and 15. So it says, Af And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogues uh, sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if ye have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. So, you know, I got this scripture. It was just an example to let you know that in the Old Testament, the, the, the men, okay, they still read from the law and the prophets, okay? The law and the prophets weren't done away with. All right, they still taught to keep the commandments of the Lord. They still taught the prophecies that that the, that the uh, prophet spoke about. All right, which a, the majority of the prophets uh, uh, spoke about was either concerning Yahweh Shai or was concerning you know the the resur resur uh, the restoration of Israel. So, if that's what these men are are now speaking, you know, during this time in Acts the 13th chapter, where did where do you get that? That the that that uh, uh, salvation is for everybody because none of the prophets in the in, in the Old Testament spoke about that. None of the prophets said that that God loved everybody and, and God was a God of everybody. It, they talked about God being a God of Israel and and subduing the heathen, putting the heathen into subjection. Okay, that's what the that's what the prophets talked about and the law talked about. All right, so I'm gonna jump down. This is uh 
verse 27. All right. So I'm going to start at verse 20. Uh, start at verse 26. It says, men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham and whosoever among you feareth the most high to you is the word of, of this salvation sent. For they that dwelt at Jerusalem and their rulers, because they knew not, they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath day. They have fulfilled them in condemning him. See, they didn't know Yahweh Shai. And because they didn't know Yahweh Shai, they didn't know or understand the, the voices or the scriptures of the prophets. All right. They didn't, they didn't, they couldn't get it. It wasn't meant for them to get it because they weren't uh, they weren't a part of the elect all right uh, uh, just a quick precept which is, I, I forgot to get this is um because even Yahweh Shai said this Yahweh Shai this is uh John chapter 5 verse 39 it says search the scriptures for in them ye think that ye have eternal life and they are they which testify of me so Yahweh Shai was telling them like alright you don't believe that I'm the man Look at the scriptures. Look at the Old Testament. Look at the law. Look at what Moses wrote. Look at what the prophets wrote. Search them. You think that you have eternal life in them, but guess what? They testify of me. All right? They talk about me. That's what Yahweh Shah was saying. He, he wasn't saying that I'm coming in another in another uh, form. Yahweh Shah even said that what? Uh, uh, you know, or David said in, in, the, in the spirit, okay, about Yahweh Shah, that law, I come in the volume of the books. He was talking about Yahweh Shah. All right? That's what Yahweh Shai did. He came in the volumes of the books, which were the Old Testament. All right, so I'm gonna jump down. Uh, verse 46. It says, "For ye, for for had ye believed Moses, ye would have ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Why? Because it's the same spirit." All right. If you don't believe the spirit that Moses was in, then you're not gonna believe the spirit that Yahweh Shah was in because it's it was the same. They, they both were in, uh, in in conjunction with each other. All right. They both were on the same. But they both was on the same uh of uh, a wave, so to speak. All right. But what? It's, that's why uh, Yahweh Shah said, "What? If you believe Moses, then you would believe me, for he wrote of me." But and that's why when we go back into what Paul said, what Paul said, uh. And um, so like the 13th chapter, the 27th verse, he says, what they didn't because they uh, for they that dwelt at Jerusalem and, and their rulers, because they knew him not, nor yet the voices of the prophets, which are read every day, every Sabbath day, they have fulfilled them in, in condemning him. So if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, then I mean, you don't believe in, in Paul and the prophets because they wrote of, of Yahweh Shai, right? So, okay, going on to this next scripture. This is uh, Acts 17 and 2. It says, And Paul, as his, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath days reasoned, reasoned with them out of the scriptures. So this is what Paul did. Whenever Paul went to a different, uh, different spot, okay, he went, into the, he went to the synagogues where the Jews was at, and he said this was his banner. This is what he, he was doing. He went into them on the Sabbath days and reasoned with them out of the scriptures. Talked about what? Verse 3, opening and alleging that Hamashiach must needs have suffered and raised again from the dead, and that this Yahweh Shai, whom I preach unto you, is Hamashiach, okay? So, that's what Paul was going around saying. He was like, look, I'm going to open, I'm going to show you in the scriptures, in, in the Moses, in the law, that this man that I'm talking about, Yahweh Shai, is the Messiah, is the person that we're supposed to call upon so that we can get saved. This is what Paul's ministry was. This is why Yahweh Shah said, I'm going to send you to, you know, to the Gentiles, all right? So that you can talk to them about me, all right? Through what? Through the scriptures that were already written already. Plain and simple, man. And if you can't get it, that means you weren't meant to get it. That means you were those wicked Pharisees and Sadducees that just didn't believe on Yahweh Shah back then. That didn't believe on the prophets. That didn't believe on, in, in what Moses uh, had written, okay? Plain and simple. So this is the last scriptures, Acts 28 and 23. And when he had appointed him a day, once again, this is Paul speaking, they came, uh, they came many unto him. They came, this is, this is spoken, this is like, this is uh, written. This is what Paul, this is what Paul did, I should say. So it says, when they had appointed him a day, there came many 
to him and to his lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of the Most High, persuading them concerning Yahweh Shai. Why? Because that's the only way we're going to get into the kingdom of, of, of the Most High, all right, which is through Yahweh Shai. So this is what Paul was expounding and testifying of them. He says, and this is how he testified of Yahweh Shai. This is how he persuaded them, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning to evening. So all Paul did from morning to evening was show them Yahweh Shai, okay, showed in the kingdom of heaven, okay, concerning Yahweh Shai out of the out of the, the law of Moses and out of the prophets. That's what Paul was doing. Okay, Paul wasn't telling nobody to do anything contrary to the scriptures. He was showing them how to become, you know, uh, uh disciples of Yahweh Shai, that you should call upon how to be, you know, have hope for salvation. It's through Yahweh Shai, which is the, the savior, Hamashiach. And is, he's written of in the in the law in the prophets. Okay, but verse twenty four says what? And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. And that's what you have today. Some believe that Yahweh Shai is a savior, and some don't believe. It's nothing new underneath the sun. Some believe that Yahweh Shai was written about in the law of Moses and out of the prophets, and some don't believe. Okay, and it's not up to us. It's because they were never they weren't chosen. All right plain and simple but what it is it is in the scriptures how paul and yahweh shai did reference the old testament to speak about you know their ministry to talk about the ministry yahweh shai commanded you know uh told told people to keep the commandments and so did paul all right which were in the old testament this is what this is what the ministry is all right and now that we have you know this new testament now that we have these gospels and these epistles we use the, the gospels and epistles you know in correlation with the old testament precept upon precept to bring you you know bring the people wake up the sheep wake up the elect at the four corners of the earth you know telling them to come back to yahweh through the through his son yahweh shot all right so you know hopefully this was edifying to the elect you know uh that that was it man all right so all praise on the glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai and shalom